and they sent on their journey Adorable Analia jumped very awkwardly Ryder did well to stay aboard but Adorable Analia is in the second wave and a stone loss for the time being the favourite Jailhouse Jazz came out bursting with speed hard against the steel Jailhouse Jazz Crimean Queen's moving around. Majestica's also on the bridle. A little bit heady between runners. Red Alice the Grey parked at the fence in fourth. Three lengths off. And Crimean Queen now ridden to respond. Goes on a length and a half. Jailhouse Jazz now settling to the rhythm second. We drop back to awesomely tuned. Gracie Lighthouse Cat past the eight pegs. Six lengths off them. Toward the outside, Summer Day, Lady Abigail Whitecap spots them, six and a half length start. Constant further back, Adorable Analia, Seattle Grace the trailer. Crimean Queen asked to stretch at the top of the lane, 500 to go. Look left, Jailhouse Jazz goes for a beautiful rails run, just got a length to make up. Majestic is alive down the centre. Red Owl's on the outside. Majestica coming to the 300, hit the front. Jailhouse Jazz towards the inside. The grey Red Owl is getting into it on the outside. Majestica, Jailhouse Jazz, but the grey Red Owl's running a big race on the stand side. Be with Red L stretched out like a winner on the way down to the post from Majestica. Awesomely tuned and Jailhouse Jazz. Well, we mentioned it on the way down to the start. This was the pick of the canter past. Absolutely floated down number nine, Red L. The Captain L. And that's why you've got to pay attention on the canter past and in the preliminaries because she stole the show. Red L. She had an action second to them and two to their one. She goes on Red L. And I believe there was outside support. You heard from Dee's downstairs. A couple of the locals were all saying Red L. The Captain L. Wins a length and a quarter. Majestica second. Awesomely tuned. Jailhouse Jazz was given every possible chance. Then came Lady Abigail. Constant further in the run. This is for Gareth Van Zale. So Gavin Van Zale opened the batting. And now the sun. Gareth Van Zale, the red L, comes through. Goes the 1500 meter trip. Yes, red L, the captain L for the Ferreras, bred by the Riverton stud. Jailhouse Jazz had a beautiful rail split, no extra late. Majestica behind those awesomely tuned. But number nine, Red L, burns down the centre. Back to the studio. Well, you know what they say, try and follow in your dad's footsteps. His dad opened the batting, as you heard, from Sheldon, and it's now Garrett's turn. And uh, it's the daughter of Captain L, a 600,000 Rand purchase. And Garrett just telling me off air that she's a lovely filly to work with, Garrett. Uh, you know, you, you, you still got some nice young horses, but she looks like a, a very progressive type. She is, Dees. Um, you, you sum it up well there. And it's uh, a pleasure working with such quality horse flesh, you know, and being by Captain the type of specimen she is. She's a lovely character. You know, I'm in a very lucky and blessed situation um, to have these horses in my yard, um, you know, to Des and Mario for allowing me this opportunity. It's, um, I appreciate it very much, and I hope I can repay them. And T-Man is listening back. Um, John Buckler is a big part of the yard. You know, he's there as a mentor, as an assistant, as a groom when needed, as, you know, to John, he does, thank you very much, um, and a good ride to Warren. Okay, let's talk about her last start, you know, she caught the I-400 to finish, she must have come on. These, that's how I train my horses, um, especially a filly, I don't want them to wind up first time, and there's a lot of improvements in there, when we go a mile, there'll be more, um, you know, she's a well-bred filly, she costs money, we've got to look after them, we don't get many of them, so it's a filly that I'd follow. 
Okay, well done with this one, Garrett. We wish you all the best with that. You got one more runner? I got one more. Um, you know, it's a hard ask taking on Sergeant Hardy there, but you know, Iska, he's a soldier, and I hope that he can earn a check. I think he will. He seems to enjoy racing at this track as well. He does, and he's an honest sort. He's, um, you know, on his day, he can, he can throw a good punch. Well played, yeah. Nice job done. Yes, thank you. Well done to uh, Garrett Van Zale. Well, this gentleman, he's, what a start to Sogo Sun Race Day. You like the casino, Warren? Yeah, I love it, these. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have the sponsor aboard. How are you speaking to Laugh? They put on a good show? Yeah, always do year in, year out, these. You know, it's one of the highlights, like I said, to Laugh's highlight meetings of the year. I'm just glad it's been supported by the, by the racing public. And, you know, the jocks love coming here. Trainers, everyone involved loves this race day. Good horses, nice prize money up for grabs, and obviously a great sponsor like Saga Sun. Well, whether it's uh, the Sun or the Dad or Chesney uh, in Gauteng, Van Zale synonymous with Kennedy. Yeah, thank God for that. Yeah, I'm very grateful. They, they back me 100%. Every single one. They've gone all on their own now, and, and they're still backing me 100%. And I'm very grateful for all the opportunities I get for them. I'm glad I can deliver on them. And just a big thanks to Mr. Ferreira and to Des. You know, they've been patient with this filly. Gareth's taking his time like he does with his baby. It's, it's well documented. And, you know, they're starting to come to themselves now. And this filly won a cracking race today, Des. You were happy where you were? What type of pace were they going? Were they going quick? Was it moderate? I thought they were going so quick. The, the first part, they went a, a decent pace. It, it wasn't too quick. It, it wasn't sedate. It was, it was a nice gallop for 1,500. And, you know, once that horse looped the field and went in front, from the 800 to the 600, we actually slowed right up. And, you know, this filly, when they turn into a sprint top of straight, I had to just wait with her. You know, you can't rush her. She gets a bit lost. So I had to wait for her to find her feet. And, you know, they were always in touch. I was always going to reel them in. So very good win for her. Well, it's been a great start to the meeting for you, Warren, and uh, all the best for the rest of it. Thanks very much, Cheers. Lovely. Let's get uh, Des in. Of course, he's the man in charge. He's the man. Let's call him manager to Mario Ferreira. You, 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 no one refers to you as that, but that's basically your job, Des. You take care of everything for Mario. Yeah, look, I must say, you know, Mario is not just my boss. He's a great, great friend of mine. We, uh, we've known each other for 25 years. Um, He's actually in Kiev at the moment with 14 of his uh, mates to support Liverpool. Mm. And um, look, this filly was my pick last year. You know, I always said to him that I'd like to get him a nice grey horse. We loved her. And, you know, fortunately, first time she was very unlucky. She lost six eggs. She ran on very well. And uh, I mean, Warren rode a perfect race. And I just want to thank uh, Gavin and Gareth. Uh, also, you, you know, and the boss, he allows us to take time with the horses, and that's the main thing. What about spreading your wins? I, I see now, in KZN especially, I notice that you're giving horses to different yards as well. Yeah, look, the boss has uh, decided, he's, even at the sales, he's bought for a lot of other people as well. Uh, Dennis and Louis will always be our, our two main trainers. And they understand as well, you know, that the boss is going to give other people, you know, the chances. Well, if you get to chat to him, give him our best. But before you leave us, what about Mario's horses later on? Anything you can help us with? Uh, these, we all know the filly. Our filly is very quick, you know, in the pinnacle plate. But unfortunately, with her breathing uh, problem, if she doesn't stop, she'll be right there. And then uh, you said it all this morning about the other horse in, in the big race. Uh, we, we're just holding thumbs. Well, all the best here, and uh, well done again, Des. Uh, the hits keep coming. Okay, thanks. Lovely. That's uh, Des, uh, manager to Mario Ferreira when it comes to his racing stables. And number nine, Red L has come through. If you caught this quartet, it should be a useful dividend. The odds on favorite could only manage fought. Nine, eight, two, and four. That's the order of finish race number two. Up next will be the start of the place accumulator. 1,300 hours, one o'clock.